so careers. I love sport, so I might go down a sporty path. I've always been told that maths and science is the best option. Sometimes it feels like there's just so many career choices. I'm a bit confused. I'm really interested in beauty. I feel like I want to know more about it, don't you? When you think of a career in the beauty industry, what do you think of? Hairdresser. Nail technician. There are more than 5,000 beauty brands operating here in the UK. Employing more than half a million people. But how much do you know about what they do? In this series, we'll be venturing to the other side of what we see on our screens and our shelves. To take a peek at some of the thousands of different careers that are in this fun and creative industry. Not sure beauty is relevant to you? Did you wash today? I hope so. Brush your teeth? Wear sunscreen this weekend. Use a filter on Insta or TikTok. Looking for a way to save our planet? Or did you set yourself up with something fresh today? Well, the beauty industry is responsible for all of that. So, let's go. Recycling, plastics, overconsumption, chemicals, a big problem. Now let's look at beauty as a problem solver in that. I've never thought about how the beauty industry could help solve the issues we face around climate change before. I want to find out more about sustainable beauty, why it's relevant to me, and speak to people who are helping find solutions to the world's environmental problems. Do I need my placards for that? The beauty industry is probably one of the most progressive industries when it comes to sustainability. I love how hyper-educated consumers are and how they don't let brands convince them of something until they have evidence. People want to know their product's journey, where the ingredients are sourced, and, you know, really go into depth about how sustainable their yeah. products are. My goal is really to make sure that the communication that we are developing is based on strong data and science so it is true and sincere for the consumer. The most important thing is authenticity and transparency. Everyone is so passionate about the ingredients that go into the products that they use. When I formulate products, I want to use raw materials that are sustainable and don't have detrimental effects on the environment. So what we're doing with Pamel is working with it in a responsibly sourced way, ensuring we understand the supply chain completely, only working with partners who are also in the same position. A lot of brands are trying to be carbon negative. That means replanting trees. That means regenerating the earth in such a way that is moving sustainability into the forefront of the beauty industry. For my internship in my master's degree, I went to Madagascar to work on the sourcing of our ingredients help the inhabitants in the forest to have all the skills that they need to have a good living. And I think sustainability is all about helping people and also having good ingredients, so it's a win-win situation. I think it was very rewarding because I'm always trying to find a sense of purpose in what I'm doing. Early on in my career, I was really interested in trying to visualize unseen realities that exist around us. If I tell you your facts and figures of your carbon footprint, you might not listen to me. But if I put you in a jacket and it changes color in real time from yellow to black to let you know how much carbon emission you've absorbed each day, would we have more impact on the planet? We're looking for sustainably supplied plant material. Fungi could be you know, involved in producing next generation of natural plastics for packaging but also potentially for ingredients because you know you can control fungi in a more sustainable way than you can actually some plants. Things like mushroom packaging that I've never heard of before are really challenging perceptions of fragrance into something that's very special. Where do you think the beauty industry is going in terms of saving the environment and sustainability? I feel like beauty is like the biggest industry for having a lot of packaging and I feel like it's gotten so much better and I feel like if the future generation can really continue on that message we're going to go in the right direction. As product reviewers we're conscious on not only the products we're buying but you know the PR packages that we get. The more your audience grows the more you have a responsibility to think what message are we putting out there as far as you know consuming.
without science, technology, innovation and design, we're going to be in a very worrying place. We created an incredible innovation called plastic, but we made throwaway bags out of it. Like why make a material in science that can last forever and then design something with it to be thrown away? The future is about looking to innovation and looking to science, but bringing in that design lens and that art lens to create things out of it that have lasting potential that can truly change the world. I would um, definitely encourage any young person to come into the beauty industry. I think there's so much opportunity, there's so much more to learn and to know. There are a lot of opportunities in the beauty industry when it comes to sustainability. Either you can work from a sourcing perspective with your ingredients, and from a packaging perspective also you can work on different material and also from a usage perspective you can develop new technologies. We need scientists and innovators to come in with new ideas, push boundaries to really drive this forward. It sounds cool. Let's go. Action. Inspirational. Solution. Purposeful. It's the only way. Knowing what you know now, has it helped you? You too could do any of these. The journey starts here. Could you be a future talent in sustainability?